Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Child sexual abuse was endemic at residential homes in North Wales from 1974 to 1990. That was the conclusion of a shocking report published in the year 2000 by Sir Ronald Waterhouse. That report didn't discover whether prominent individuals such as politicians were involved. But in 2012, when allegations about public figures were coming to light, the government ordered a review into the adequacy of the Waterhouse inquiry. That review was led by Lady Justice McCurr, who's now published her findings. She endorsed the first inquiry and said she'd found no evidence of involvement by establishment figures. Let's be clear, we are talking about dark and shameful events that are a stain on our nation. These were children in the care of the state because they were vulnerable and the state let them down. That is why our first thought will always be with the victims, supporting them and bringing the perpetrators to justice. Waterhouse's final report, Lost in Care, published in 2000, con concluded that widespread sexual abuse of boys occurred in children's residential establishments in Cluid between 1974 and 1990, and that there was a paedophile ring operating in the North Wales and Chester areas, but no reference was made to any abuse being carried out by nationally prominent individuals. Stephen Crabb said Lady Justice McCurr examined a huge amount of material. Lady Justice McCurr's main finding is that, and I quote, I have found no reason to undermine the conclusions of Waterhouse in respect of the nature and the scale of abuse. Lady Justice McCurr looked carefully at the specific issue of nationally prominent figures and concluded that there was, again I quote, no evidence of the involvement of nationally prominent individuals in the abuse of children in care in North Wales between 1974 and 1996. Some named in the report have been removed. Lady Justice McCure urged caution in rela re relation to releasing names of individuals accused of abuse or speculated to be involved in abuse who have not been subject to a police investigation, have not been convicted of a criminal offence and or whose name is not in the public domain in the context of child abuse, whether establishment figures or not. She argued that to do so would be, and I quote, unfair in two respects and unwise in a third. The extent of the abuse revealed by the Waterhouse inquiry was staggering. It found evidence of widespread and persistent physical and sexual abuse, including multiple rapes carried out against young boys and girls. This abuse was allowed to take place over many years, sometimes decades, in the very homes where vulnerable children should have felt safe. The scale of the abuse is shocking, but what is also shocking is that many of the inquiries into this abuse have encountered a reluctance to cooperate with them and a refusal to publish their conclusions. In short, cover-ups and missed opportunities. She welcomed the publication the of the McCurr Review. There may be cases where redactions are needed, not least to ensure that no ongoing police investigation is compromised. But these redactions must be as few as possible, and they must be justified to survivors. One MP was concerned about the removal of names from the report. I feel that this will be a matter that will cause the most concern uh, in North Wales. Um, I fully understand the, the reasons that my right honourable friend has given and which uh, were made by Lady Justice McCurr. But can he confirm, can, 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 can he confirm that uh, Justice Lil Goddard will have the right to pursue in her own inquiry the names of those whose names have been redacted, the, the identities of those whose names have been redacted uh, in the report that he has given. A full unredacted copy has gone to the Goddard inquiry. Um, he asks whether Goddard will be able to pursue those names that are in the unredacted report. Well, just bear in mind that one of the rec specific recommendations of this Mercure review today is that actually it's the police and the judicial process that's best placed to go after, in, in his words, names uh, of people who might be uh, where there are specific allegations and that public or private inquiries aren't the best forum for doing that. 
Asia 300 of the Waterhouse Report lists the names of 13 young men who couldn't give evidence to the new report because they've lost their lives. Most of them took their lives following the case where they went before uh, those who were accused, who were all used to give an evidence in course, some of them because of their police backgrounds. The victims were torn to shreds in a merciless way and several of them took their lives as a direct consequence of the abuse can be continued by our court system and it's still continuing today. The Welsh Secretary said heinous horrific acts of abuse took place and he recognised that the report would not bring closure to everyone. I've been getting away with it all.